of what's happening. Life's changing, life's moving quick, but uh, we're moving to Nebraska. So I'm selling the farm. Um, an investor came to me with a crazy offer uh, for the farm. And I was like, how can I not take that? So now I got to do 1031 exchange and go buy land somewhere in Nebraska. We were paying eight grand an acre for this ground, ground around the home farm. And some investor came in with 12 grand an acre. I was like, I can't, I, got, I gotta take that price right now. Even though I love Iowa, I gotta take that price right now. Uh, so we agreed on a deal. Now with that difference, I bought land for eight grand an acre. He pay, he's paying me 12 grand. That's a $4,000, uh, that's a $4,000 profit on acre. So what you're gonna have to do is that's capital gains. You're gonna have to pay a crazy tax like that. And I really don't wanna pay a crazy tax. So what the IRS allows you to do is gives you a certain time period. I, the IRS gives you a certain time period to exchange that land for other land and not have to pay any capital gains tax. So that's what I'm trying to do right now is not pay any capital gains tax. So I'm gonna transfer this land and I'm looking for ground in Nebraska that's comparable to this size of the farm, maybe, maybe even a little better that we can put all that equity we had in this ground into the new ground in Nebraska. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm gonna jump on Farmland Finder and see if I can't find some ground here. And I'm gonna hop on my Apex Game PC. By the way, sales going on till December 2nd. Biggest sale of the year, 22.5% off. If you're looking for a PC, feel free to check them out. You don't even have to buy the Squad Series. Like, I, I really don't care. Um, you could buy any PC from there, but they're marked down 12.5%. And then on top of that, you use code SQUAD for another 10% off. So like 22.5% total. So it's been a couple of days and I'm on, I'm on Farmland Finder. I have the premium account on there. Right now, I'm happy to say I've found my property and we bought the farm. We've got the contract locked in. I've signed it. Um, we bought the farm. We agreed. Here's a map of Iowa. This is Iowa. This is where I go to college. Now, the home farm that I'm on right now is located over here, northeast corner of Iowa, where more Iowa is. And so obviously we've been searching forever. Past couple days has just been insane with the realtor. Uh, we've been searching, we've been searching, we've been searching. And usually it takes months and months and months, but we found the perfect farm for sale. Uh, we agreed on, I think, which is a fair price for the farm. Six, six thousand six hundred dollars an acre. It's 526 acres. Now where the thing threw me off is it's kind of, we're kind of close to the river, the Missouri river. One thing I didn't understand is the soil, the soil productivity index for uh, Nebraska. They go by the thing of NCCPI. And I was like, what is that? Cause in Iowa, we have CSR2. It's an index of five to 100. And in Nebraska, they have NCCCPI. So I think uh, an NCCPI of 62, I was looking, is fairly solid. It was tough to find anything higher than that. I didn't really know. And I think, I'm pretty sure Minnesota uses the same soil pr productivity index. But I was like, this is a fairly average ground. I think if you compared it to Iowa, the CSR2, uh, NCCPI to CSR2 index would be probably like, I would guess this would be in the 70s or something like that. You can basically look, I guess, kind of judge it off ground, maybe 60s, 70s or so. But um, we ended up purchasing this, 526 acres. I don't, care, I don't know if you guys knew this, but we only had, we only owned 250 acres around here. The rest of the ground we rented. So I mean, I didn't even have that much land. You guys maybe thought I had that much land, but no, we only own 250 acres around here. So, but I was getting to, I sold it for 12 grand an acre. So we are yo, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. <laughs> But anyways, we sold it for 12 grand an acre, so I was able to buy more acres in Nebraska. It may not be as productive as some of this Iowa ground, but I was able to buy more acres. But with that being said, we're, I bought that property and I wanna get out there as soon as possible. Like, I wanna start moving equipment and packing equipment today. I have somebody coming in to custom harvest the rest of my ground. Uh, they did it at a cheap price, almost the same price that I can harvest it for with my operating costs. So I was like, okay, take it, take it over. You got it. Uh, obviously, they're gonna, I'm gonna pay them a fee, and then they'll sell the crop for me, and then I'll, I'll, I'll get, I'll get the difference, obviously. But uh, this is insane. It's, it's definitely a different journey in my life. It's definitely changing up my life. It's throwing everything off. And heck, it's gonna be interesting. We're gonna have to toss up some, you know, some Nebraska flags on the new pole in Nebraska when we move. But man, it's gonna be crazy. So I'm I'm literally gonna get started today, but I have a meeting with um I have a meeting with Austin and Jake and I think Buck's gonna be down there. We're supposed to get waffles this morning, so I'm gonna drive down there. I'm gonna let them know about the news. And I think I think one of them was talking about moving to Nebraska too. Taking the old power stroke down there. And by the way, guys, I don't know if you guys know this right now, but I'm recording on uh, the Squad Ultra, which has an insane graphics card, an RTX 2080 Ti. And right now it's a surfer. So the big thing holding me up is my internet connection based on lag. Uh, it's not really the graphics card because this puppy is the one of the best graphics cards you can get almost. Uh, it's mainly my, it's mainly the internet. But anyways, I just want to let you guys know I'm officially on the Squad Ultra now. Moved off of the old iron tag. 
I know the local farmers were talking about moving out to Nebraska. I'm not sure if these guys are moving to or what, uh, but they were talking about it, I know. I'm gonna miss the town of Moore. This was, uh, this was a good place. This was a real good place. People were nice. It's got, it, it's got the Iowa nice people. I don't know, hopefully uh, people in Nebraska are nice. I don't know, it's gonna be interesting. Definitely a different change. Yo, 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 speak of the devil. Austin, how you doing, man? Oh, pretty good. Yourself? Good, good. I, I, I saw you taking a spin in uh, in the old General Lee there. What was up with that, man? What, what do you mean? I saw you driving the General Lee. That wasn't me. I have you on camera. Your name is above dude, your head. That, oh, dude, that's my twin brother. Really? Yes. Man, I was going to say, that dude was so Yeah, I, I don't know. He was so ugly. Yeah, he, and he, he he's so my ugly fat, twin. And man, yeah, he, 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 he's my ugly twin. Okay, okay. I was gonna you know, say. But he here's looks, the deal. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So you guys, wow. Yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know what my parents were thinking when they named us both Austin. Oh, okay, but, okay, know. okay, okay. I got, um, I got some news to share with you, man. Once we, uh, I want to tell everybody though what's what's gonna happen. Um, are you moving? Same as me. You're moving too. Yeah, everybody is. Haven't you heard the word? I, I knew I thought I knew you guys were thinking about moving, but you guys are moving. Yeah. How many acres you buy out in Nebraska? Or where are you moving uh, to? I haven't bought anything yet. Dang. If you need a place to stay, you can always park your camper at my place. No, I got some family down there. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's Buck rolling up in? Buck. That's There's a old nice Buck. Truck. My uncle needs some help on this farm, so I've been busy Dang. moving. I think everybody's I'm moving. Ready to move. I, I bought Is 580. I bought 580 acres down there. Investor came in and bought my ground here. I gotta sell. The, I gotta move out of the farm quick. Is Buck? Yes. Buck. Let me, right, let me take a guess. You're moving. Are you moving? Yep. Really? <laughs> oh wait. Huh. The coincidence. Wait, wait, wait. wait. What part of uh, what part of uh, Nebraska y'all moving to? I'm moving up by that Wahoo area. Yeah, <laughs> I'm in the northeast part too. Yep. Same. I want to go see if I can't get back to the home state since I'm already manager up here at the Iowa location. I'm going to see if I can't get manager somewhere down where in the, one of the Nebraska locations. Well, oh, you need, oh. Because well, Platte Valley is basically, their their main locations are out of Nebraska. They have a few in mm -hmm. Iowa, a couple somewhere else, but their main area is Nebraska. The only thing is, dude, I don't know what I'm going to do with my, my deer dealership. I gotta put that up for sale or something. Yeah, and you just broke ground and you did that. I, I keep yeah. deer country here, see if you can't get a uh, Little Jenny, see if she, Jenny, like, what, yeah. what, see if she can't get her to run it. Yeah, I'll have to. I don't know. Or, oh, Jimmy. Well, why don't yeah, you just yeah, hand yeah. the keys over to Jimmy? I'll talk to Jimmy. I'll talk to Jimmy. I just, oh, I, it's I Jimmy can still, Hill. I can still own it, and Jimmy could just still run it. That'd be fine to do. That something like you, that. Uh, fine to do. You boys want to move this conversation over to the dinner table? I'm kind of hungry. Yeah, I'm yeah, starved. I'm yeah. Last one there is rotten egg. I ain't no rotten that egg. That is not the table. Uh, wrong what? table. This is waffles. This oh, is the table we always eat at every morning, Austin. Are you Every drunk morning. or something? You mean, yes. Daniel, what's up, man? Oh, Grant, Grant, Grant. Isn't that your ex? Is it? Is it? Grant. Is it, look at that. It's your ex. Susan? Yeah, it's Susan. Susan's your mom, dude. I dated her. That was, that was three nice years lady. ago. That was three it's years ago. my mom. Austin. It's all new. You ever had Susan's cookies? They're oh, really wait, good cookies. Who's Susan? I don't know about this. Susan? Uh, Susan's my mom. mom. Oh, yeah. Wait, no. Wait, what? I think that's Susan right there. She's staring right at me. That, that's not Susan. <laughs> oh, you, 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 uh. When are you, when are you guys right, planning on moving, though? Today. I'm, I'm probably going to be heading out just about right after we eat here, to be honest. Okay. You guys want a convoy over there? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'd be down. Hey, All right. what's your problem, man? What's your problem? Huh? What's your problem? Me? No, no, this dude. Uh, this dude. I think the... Austin's going crazy. He's yelling at a plant. Well,. Waffles was good, guys. I'm gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna get packing. I'm gonna All get right. packing. If... Shoot me a text when y'all are leaving. We'll convoy out of here. Yeah, yeah, that'll look yep. good. Yo, you just hop over my. You just did the Dukes of Hazard slide over <laughs> my. Ah, yeah, boy. Well, at least I'll have friends out in Nebraska. These guys are. These guys are moving out here too. Okay, this is gonna be this is gonna be fun. So what I gotta do is I gotta get packed up. Um, I gotta head back and I gotta get packed up. So I think what I'm gonna do is I have I don't even have my Ford. That's right, I don't have my Ford. Somebody has it still, but I have my two Max from Deer Country. So what I'm gonna do is most likely load up as much equipment as possible on there, and then some of the equipment I think I can drive. So we have two gravity wagons. I'm gonna bring the gravity wagons out. You know what? It's nice about owning a dealership because if I if I really don't want to take anything out, I could just put up for sale at my dealership and leave it there and keep it as inventory. If I really don't wanna don't wanna don't want something out there, 
So I'm gonna take as much stuff as possible in one load, and then the rest of the stuff, I'm gonna put up for sale at Deer Country. The stuff I don't need, and then the other stuff I can just buy once I get out there. I think that'd be kind of cool. Question is, what am I gonna take, and what am I gonna sell? I'm gonna miss Deer Country. It's been fun. It's been short, but it's been fun. So I'm for sure joining the sprint car race out in Nebraska. We'll see what those Nebraskians have for skills. <laughs> so that's the first thing. We're gonna load up the car, get the car loaded up, and then comes the equipment. Now, I don't know if you guys were wondering, some of you guys may not know about this, but I actually own two cases, um, these cases, and I posted them on Facebook Marketplace and they sold. The guy lives out in Nebraska. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I told him, heck, I'm moving out there soon. I'll deliver these to you. 200 hours on one and then like 100 and something hours on that. That's like nothing for these. So by the time we get my car in there, by the time we get those cases in there, this thing, yeah, this thing's gonna be uh, way down down pretty good and cars going up in there are we even gonna have room i think we'll have room i'm gonna put this all the way up to the front i don't want too much weight on the truck because i gotta still throw all my clothes my pc i gotta throw that apex game pc in the cab that thing's gonna weigh her down there we go cars in there let's go get the tractors good old 7310r looking like a beaut we are loaded up and by golly is she squatting we need airbags or something i, I need to add more leaf springs or something to this a lot of these tools, a lot of this equipment is staying with the place they wanted it. So I'm going to let them have it. And once I get to Nebraska, I'm basically going to have to buy all new tools. But the price they gave me for it, I'm okay with that. Uh, we, we definitely got some spend we can do. Next thing, my draper uh, for soybeans and wheat. I'm keeping at the deer dealership. Once I get out to Nebraska, we're going to have to cover a lot, of, a lot more acres than we did before. So I'm actually going to buy a bigger draper. This 16 row corn head, I'm going to take out to Nebraska. The 716C um, I bought from deer country and we're going to take this out to Nebraska. I'm going to need a 16 row corn head. A lot of the ground, there's a, the area I bought, there's a lot of large, large farmers out there and the fields are flat and it's, it's some fairly good yielding corn out there. So, uh, I decided, Hey, let's go with the 716C. Now the thing is, is I got this 770 combine, which I don't know if it's capable of. Now, something else I trade in that's more important is the 770. We're upgrading combines and I still have yet to choose what exactly I'm going to go with. And I should say deer country have this S690 on the lot still. And we've had this around. I know the actual owner that bought this, he bought it originally from here back in back in 2012. He takes good care of his equipment. Jimmy's ran through this combine every year with the with the deer special. It's it's gotten full service. There hasn't been really anything wrong with it, and any little thing that has gone wrong, Jimmy's replaced. So this thing is up to date. It's got 500 hours on it. It's not the 700 series, but it's a big class combine. Class meaning class size, not 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 class Lexion. Luckily, since the 770 only had 100 hours on it, the price difference wasn't that much uh, to go to a S690. Some would consider it downgrading, some would consider it upgrading. We're upgrading with size, we're downgrading with year, with, with age. And I know things seem crazy right now with what's happening, guys. But uh, you do a lot of trading when you're, when you're, when you get a, when some, when an investor comes in and buys your ground, you, you, you got to move quick. And uh, I'm trying to move quick and, and make the best decisions possible for the operation. So I'm going to take this back home. Change of plans. I'm an absolute idiot. And I just assumed the S690 that I bought without even checking out the rear end. And I even sold this combine. I should know this, but it doesn't have a hitch on the back. Some combines will come with them. Some don't. It doesn't have one. It's not something I could, I could probably rig something up and have Jimmy weld something up for me. But I think what I'm going to do is just load this up now. I know it's crazy. And then pull this with my pickup truck or something. The header cart. Now the Wilson grain trailer, I'm actually going to end up selling at deer country. Uh, so I'll just have that on the lot there. And uh, this Mac, I don't know if I'm going to take it with or I'm going to take hold, hold my equipment out with this. One of these Macs I may just keep for the farm. I don't know yet. But as far as this S690, we're going to get this loaded up on the trailer. We're going to take one step at a time, get one piece of equipment loaded up at a time, and try to get this done. It's a long process. Max disconnected from the trailer, fire up that 690, load her up. I'm going to admit, that 690 does look a little weird with this with this aftermarket grain tank on it. But it definitely, man, it definitely makes it easier out in the field. And the only thing is, is I'm going to need, since I got this new combine, I am going to need a giant door on my shed to fit this combine indoors, actually. That's one of the things i got to remember. Okay. Combine's loaded, ready to go. I'm gonna run down to deer country, grab my other Mac, grab the other trailer, probably try to load the quad track and the J&M grain cart all in one truck. 
We gotta figure out if that's possible or not. Now, either the 8130 or the 7R has to go. I'm not keeping both. We just don't need both right now. And I'm probably end up gonna, I'm gonna end up trading one for even a larger piece of equipment, whether that's an 8R or a 9R or a 9RT. Uh, just because I know the terrain out there, we're gonna need something bigger for sure. Maybe even a 9RX. Uh, but one of those I'll take with me for now till we really get a good idea of what I'm gonna need for equipment out there. So it's either the 8130 or the 7R. I'm really leaning towards keeping the 8130 just because I've always fell in love with that tractor compared to the 7R. Haven't had that tractor long and I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Gravity wagons for now, I'm gonna sell at the dealership. I'm not taking the gravity wagons with me. We'll figure out if we need different gravity wagons out there, but for now, I'm not gonna take that with me. It is a mess in the yard right now and I'm gonna get the quad track. We're gonna figure out if we can get the, this is gonna be tough, but I'm gonna figure out if I can get the quad track and the grain cart both on this trailer. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. If you guys ever see like a news report that says like J&M grain cart killed a guy in crash or something like that. Just remember the guy that loaded this up, his name was Buck. Man, this is really gonna be pushing it. As long as we, we have it strapped down fine. That's not what I'm worried about. The main thing I'm worried about is this grain cart slipping off the back. We have it chained down to where I think it's fine. It's not rubbing on any of the tires. It's mainly riding on this. That's a lot of weight to ride on this. I think we'll be fine though. Lastly, but not least, the 8130. She's coming along with us. One other tractor that I've totally forgot about and totally ignored is the John Deere 4020, the loader tractor. I have no idea if I'm going to take that or not. I think it's something I could probably talk, talk to the investor and ask, hey, could I just leave it on the farm? And man, when I make a trip back to Iowa with my pickup truck, uh, I'll bring the, four, the gooseneck trailer and we'll load it up on that and I'll take it back just whenever I come back to Iowa. It's something I really want to keep, but we just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it this trip. But these gravity wagons, these J&Ms are going uh, to deer country. And deer country is gonna, it's kind of weird because I'm the owner of deer country, obviously you guys know that, but I think I'm just gonna put them on the lot for deer country and uh, we'll just sell them as a used, almost like consignment sale, if that makes sense. There we go. I'll never see them again. So one other thing I have to decide, I'm deciding making so many decisions here, but is, the question is, do I take the two DB60s I have out there, which will trailer fine because they they can actually be hooked up to each other. So I have no issue taking them out there. The issue I have is, am I gonna be running two planters this year or should I just go to like a DB90? I don't know if I can go to a DB120 yet. I can maybe pull it with the quad track, but uh, I think for now I'll take the two DB60s out there, pull me on each other and I think it'll work. I'm really gonna miss that house. I may, we still have to build our house, build our sheds out there, but man, I may just put up, cause right now we only bought ground. We didn't buy, it didn't come with any any estate or any any farm, any buildings, you know, the whole package. But uh, I'm gonna have to put up a house and I think it may just be one similar to that. So we decided we're taking one DB60 out there. The other one I took to deer country. I was like, we're gonna, we don't need two. I'll probably maybe just run this one DB60 or we'll just upgrade to a DB90. Now the one thing is, is this, what's gonna happen is this has a hitch on the back, that DB60. And I'm taking that thing, I'm driving that tractor there. We can do 31 mile an hour. It won't, it'll take a while and it'll be annoying, but it's, it's easily doable. Now we have this header cart here that I don't have because my pickup truck's hooked up to the trailer, of course, but, uh, but, I can put this behind the planter and it'll pull fine. It'll be a little long, but she'll pull fine. There we go. We got her hooked. I think this will work. The only the only problem is, man, is I don't have any wiring running here. Uh, there's no wiring from the back of the the back of the trailer. Like I'm talking brake brake lights. We'll have to run this during the day, and uh, I'll have my hazards on on this. But there's no wiring to run these hazards through the planter all the way to the tractor. That's the only thing they didn't make. They made a hitch. I think this hitch is just made for really. It's not really made to pull another planter behind it. But I think as long as you can see these hazards on this planter, I think it's legal. So this should work. We are loaded. The Nebraska, this is the Nebraska crew. This is what we got. This is what we're taking to Nebraska. Besides the 420, maybe some other stuff I'll come back for if I make a trip back to Iowa. This is what we're taking. This is crazy. This is what we got. Man, life changes quick. It's fun though. You never know what's gonna happen. Just back my things up. But, uh, Iowa, it's gonna be missed. This farm's gonna be missed. It's been good. It's been real good. This was right before the this was right before the tornado came in. The man that was crazy. But guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. I think next vlog, I'll probably see you guys. It's gonna be sad leaving Iowa. I mean, I'm at Nebraska, but I can't talk. I can't talk right now. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in Nebraska.